Let's talk now to author and father of three, Neil Sinclair, who's with us on the sofa. Also next to him, Neil Robinson, a lecturer in marketing and tourism at the University of Salford. Neil's. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> let's talk, Neil Robinson, let's talk about how tricky it is. Um, you're a dad, how many children have you got? No. Is it Neil Robinson? <laughs> Sorry. You've got three? I've got one. I've got a girl called Eva. I'm doing well this morning. That's all right. Um, okay, you've got one, but it's quite tr it's quite expensive, isn't it? And it is. then Bernardo's now saying that still, even if you take all the costs of, you know, fair rides, everything like that, it's still going to be very, very expensive. What are your experiences? Yeah, it's very expensive. Uh, you've got the best part of six or seven weeks to fill. Uh, children are expecting to be entertained. You know, gone are the days when they go on the park with a packed lunch. Uh, they're now engaging in cost-related things, Pleasure Beach, Alton Towers and so on. So yeah, it can be very expensive. And Neil Sinclair, you have three children. I, I knew three. there was yes. one of you with three <laughs> children. Um, yeah. So yeah, similar story? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I took my, uh, my family to a theme park um, a couple of weeks ago and uh, I had to literally uh, sell a kidney to uh, be able to afford it. It was so expensive and that was with uh, my son, unfortunately, is uh, unfortunately he's twelve, and he's a, he's now considered an adult. So I had to pay I had to pay for it, um, an adult ticket for him. So it does get it can get very very expensive, especially as Neil said over the uh, the six week period mm. when they when mm. they want to do so much, it can get quite pricey. And we've probably all been stung by a trip to the cinema, especially if you add on the popcorn and the hot dogs and the fizzy drinks. It's it, it it's quite extraordinary. Any of this research has it surprised you at all? And I wonder whether there's pressure on parents to do, as, as you say, not, not just a trip to a, to a park with a picnic or something, is that pressure to make days out, you know, over the top incredible, what would yeah. normally be a treat? Yeah, absolutely, and we're finding this, and certainly the conversation I've had with Neil, this notion that parents and children are expecting to have, you know, a wonderful experience during that summer period, you know, gone are the days, as I said before, of going down, you know, bucket and spade, they want to engage in some kind of corporate activity that they can showcase when they get back home, you know, they get in the classroom, where have you been this summer? I've been too. So mm. there is a lot of pressure. And you see it at Christmas and related areas, mm. related festivities, you know, and people say, well, what did you get for Christmas? Where did you go on holiday? Are you only one holiday a year? And so on. So, yeah, the pressure's there. I think we're all experiencing it. And lots of parents are going to be watching going, of course it's expensive. We know it's expensive. Yeah. Why isn't it changing? Uh, I think there's a twofold answer there. Firstly, there's high demand. You know, if there wasn't the demand, they won't be able to charge the prices. But I think we recognise we're now in a consumer environment. It's consumerisation if you want it and you can afford it. Uh, and I think it's peer pressure as, as well. I would say that there are alternatives. It doesn't need to be expensive. And I was mm. saying to Neil earlier, you know, the North West is probably some of the best museums, uh, libraries, and, you know, these are free to access. So you don't necessarily have to make it expensive. Neil, um, I can't imagine your children would be jumping for joy if you said, oh, we're going out for a day out to the library. I, actually, you should say you, you, you say that, but I took my kids to the library two days ago, and they had a great time. Really, really good. My daughter's it's seven. It's a hard one to sell, though. It, 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 it is, yeah. lots of children, I, as when Neil said, you know, I'll, I'll, there's almost this competitiveness. There is, there? there is, yeah. But I think you, um, you know, I think you, your kids take the lead from you. And uh, if you, you know, at a very early age, I've been taking my children to uh, to the beach with a with a bucket and spade, um, to the park to make a den to. You know, to go. You know, I mean, I'm an ex-commando, so you know, I've got I've got some skills there. But you know, but it's uh, but it's also um, you know, giving the kids the opportunity to use their imagination in environments that are free. I mean, I you know, in my I've got a written book, Commando Lad Basic Training, and one of the things is entertaining the troops. Um, I call my kids my troopers, and um, and it is it's about. Um, giving them the, the opportunity to use their imagination. I don't think kids are allowed to use their imagination as much now, um, you, know, for all, you know, for peer pressure, for, all, for all, all, sorts, all sorts of reasons. But giving them that opportunity to, you know, to go to these places that are free, it's fantastic and it's great. And it's, and, and it's really empowering for them as well to be able to know that they can entertain themselves. Okay, thank you very much. Neil Sinclair, Neil Robinson, the two Neils, thank you for talking <laughs> to us this morning. See, thank I told you. you. Brass rubbing, stamp collecting, that type of stuff doesn't cost much, does it? Alex, Alex, can you save us, please, from the, from the man who likes his brass rubbings? Let's make the weather a little bit more interesting. We can always go out and see the weather for free, can't we? Yeah, you can always...